so here we have the uh, Brother Hobby Tornado T2 2206 motor. Uh, I got the uh, 2600 kV and the 2300 kV. Uh, these were sent in by Brother Hobby, so thanks a lot to uh, Brother F Hobby Factory for sending this test sample so we can put them through its, their paces and share the uh, results with you guys. So thanks for that. Um, uh, these uh, have all the latest, pretty much all the latest features that uh, that the new generation motors are are, are being manufactured with. Uh, they're made out of uh, 70, 75 uh, aluminum, which is uh, one of the it's like aircraft um, aluminum alloy. It's aircraft grade, so it, it's it's pretty strong. Um, uh, and as always, it's got this uh, configuration on the on the top bell, which uh, helps uh, move air uh, through the stator. So that helps cooling. Um, and also hollow shafts. And uh, really strong magnets. I think these are. Uh, uh, I think the, their specs say they're N52 magnets, and they have the uh, thin laminations as well. So pretty much uh, loaded up with all the all the features that make the motors uh, perform uh, pre perform pretty pretty well. Um, so I'm. I, I actually went ahead and uh, pulled one apart. Uh, uh, they do use these uh, these sear clips, which are pretty hard to remove. So, uh, and I'll show you how how difficult it is to remove because the magnets are so strong. You really have to pull on it, like really. Hard. It's not easy to. Oh, that's that's pretty hard to remove. So uh, it's pretty strong magnets there. So you can see they're they're quite chunky. Pretty thick. So that's probably gonna give a lot of torque to the motors. Uh, so shaft is uh, four millimeters so that's good uh, makes it pretty strong and it's uh, it's hollow so that helps reduce weight so it's hollow uh, yeah pretty much all the way almost all the way through and this one's not a it's not a one piece shaft uh, uh, motor shaft and propeller shaft it, they, they're two separate uh, parts the propeller shaft is part of the bell and the motor shaft is inserted into the uh, it's pressed in into the bell and the, there is a there is a, a shaft retaining a set scrub screw there. I uh, don't know what size that is, but it could be either 1 or 1.5. Not sure. Let's see if it's 1.5. That's the, smaller one. That's the smallest one I have here. Let's see. Yeah, it's, it's smaller than smaller than 1.5. So that makes it kind of difficult to find. It's probably one millimeter. Makes it difficult to find the the right Allen keys, and they're hard to remove. So uh, anyway, I don't know how serviceable that is. It looks like it's it's 
pretty well pressed in there so and well you know four millimeters so that's probably gonna be really strong so you know hopefully they're very durable and they don't bend um, other things that you we can notice is the um, the windings are single wire single wire strand and uh, the laminations I actually went ahead and went ahead and counted and uh, laminations were uh, 40 uh, 40 laminations but uh, this is not really six millimeters it's uh, the stator is actually a little bit a little bit taller than six millimeters it's more like a, it's more like 6.5 uh, I put a I put the picture at the beginning of the video uh, where you can uh, better see the uh, the measurement of the stator and the number of laminations uh, so 6.5 millimeters and f and 40 laminations that makes it about 0.1625 millimeter per lamination uh, but you know that's uh, uh, it's pretty good it's thinner than the usual 0.2 and uh, also what they've been saying is that uh, depending on the motor and the, the KV and all that you have to uh, like the, the, there's ways that they optimize the lamination uh, thickness so it's not like you can put 0.15 in all the motors uh, they say you know like some motors may need a, a thinner or thicker lamination so they optimize that uh, and let's see how much this weighs. So uh, uh, here's a how strong the magnets are. Get the fingers out of the way. And this motor weighs in at uh, this is the 2300 kV with the uh, wires, which are wires are about uh, about 85 millimeters long so a little bit longer than that you would use when you have the ESC's on the uh, on the arms uh, but let's see what it weighs with those so it says about 31.5 31.5 grams so not too bad uh, pretty uh, it's a weight that uh, some 2205 motors weigh uh, and pretty good for 2206 I think uh, so uh, the 22 the 2600 kV is pretty much uh, pretty much uh, built the same way it's, it's, it's the same configuration it only difference it's going to have is the uh, the number of turns in the windings is going to be less to get the higher KV. Uh, oh, one thing I also forgot to mention is uh, the air gap. One you know one of the other features that m makes the motor perform uh, pretty good is the uh, the air gap. Uh, it's pretty pretty small. So th that's that's the uh, uh, the gap between the magnet and the face of the stator uh, of each stator tooth uh, the closer you can get it uh, the the better the performance but of, of course you know there's a limit because uh, you don't want to be rubbing magnet against the stator either uh, at high rpm you may have a little wobble here and there you know and you don't want to be rubbing uh, those two pieces, the you know, the rotating portion against the stator. Uh, so you can see, it, uh, you could, you know, you could just fit a, a sheet of paper. Fits just snug, uh, 
fairly loose so if you probably double that it it won't fit so it's almost as thin as a sheet of paper uh, so that you know that's uh, that's where you get the the manufacturing uh, uh, quality uh, when you get uh, factories that have the the capacity of uh, the capability of uh, making good motors they you know they can do stuff like that get the tolerances really tight and you know that's how the motors get to perform well and and they rank at the top uh, uh, so those are the uh, the T2 2206 motors uh, pre uh, they're both pretty much built the same 2600-2300 kV uh, so uh, this will have uh, I'll, I'll have two videos uh, with the results for each okay that was the uh, uh, tear down and overview of the Brother Hobby T2 2206 motors uh, tornado series. Uh, so next, uh, uh, next is the uh, static thrust test to see how these motors perform. Uh, so here's a interesting comparison uh, on the uh, thrust test. Uh, uh, here on the left is the uh, T2 2206 2300, and on the right is the R4 2206 2300. Um, as you will see on the next next section, on the next video segment, I went ahead and tested the um, KV value. Of the uh, of the T2 motor, and uh, as I suspected, it's 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 a little bit uh, lower than 2300. It's somewhere around 2250 and 2260. Uh, so the the thrust results uh, show that, uh, as you can see, compared to the uh, to the R4, uh, the uh, we will. Compare a couple of the props of uh, the Gen Fan 5045. Uh, we got 1270 versus 1172. Of course, there's a the T2 is gonna is gonna draw uh, less amps, fewer amps at that uh, uh, at that uh, for that uh, prop. Uh, one other thing to note 
is also the voltages here on the T2 are, are going to be a little bit lower so that adds to the overall lower uh, thrust values. Uh, this is because uh, my my batteries are, are getting tired so they, they're sagging a little bit a little bit more so even you know even if it's half a volt lower that that's gonna make a, a noticeable difference on the on the thrust results so so keep that in mind also it's not that the motor is a lot weaker it's just that the even the half volt or even one volt in some in some uh, situation in some uh, some of the tests uh, that makes makes a lot of difference so keep that in mind uh, on this other prop uh, the uh, DYS 50 40 by 3 and the HQ 5040 by 3 uh, you can also see the R4 making more thrust um, and these props uh, are about the same performance the HQ it's a little bit higher uh, thrust than the DYS but uh, not not by a lot but uh, you can see here uh, due to the uh, uh, the lower KV and slightly less voltage uh, it's actually about the same voltage here. The battery wasn't sagging as much, uh, but uh, you can see it's a less thrust. So, um, yet another prop to compare would be the uh, Dow 5045 uh, B2. Uh, what that's the one that people call the the HBN, the hybrid hybrid uh, bullnose. Um, uh, again, uh, R4 is making slightly more more thrust. Uh, here, actually, we we ended up with the uh, same voltage. So this one's this one's a pretty good comparison here. Uh, so as we get into the uh, larger props, the six inch, six inch props uh, that uh, put a lot more load into the motor. Uh, here we can see a slight, uh, sort of like a reversal of. Uh, of performance, uh, we're seeing the uh, uh, the componentry of the T2 uh, with the tighter packed magnets. Um, we can really see how that that torque uh, capacity is, is is showing here. Uh, we're getting uh, 1,600 uh, grams of of, uh, of thrust on the 6045 versus uh, 1571 so so here's a swing over to the the T2 uh, and uh, also the the lower KV also uh, uh, provides more more torque so the lower the KV the slightly higher torque that, you, that the motor has so we can see that that comes into play on the 6 inch prop uh, even we're getting even lower uh, lower uh, low, low, lower amperage uh, voltage is about the same uh, same goes for the other 6 inch props the KK6040 uh, we're seeing 1583 versus 1623 uh, about the same voltage uh, so and the other prop that really uh, stresses the motor is the uh, 6 inch uh, tri-blade uh, so in this one uh, for this prop uh, we're seeing about the same thrust actually this one this one's a little bit more but uh, this probably would have been this would have been higher definitely higher had we had the same voltage but here here the battery came into play uh, it's sagged to 14.5 volts Whereas here on the R4, it's it, it stayed it only went to 15 volts, so half a volt, half a volt uh, on the battery is it's it's quite a lot. So that's that's gonna cause uh, noticeable differences in thrust. Uh, so here we have uh, about what 40 grams, so that n not a lot considering it's. Uh, the voltage difference is, is significant. So, uh, you know, the sometimes we get motors that are slightly less than the nominal 
uh, spec, which is 2300 kV. That's that's not uh, not a bad thing in most cases. Uh, uh, so th in this case, uh, you know, at, uh, it, it'll it'll get you a little bit less thrust, but uh, make the motor a little bit more efficient. And also, uh, if you're planning on running 5S, so that actually helps. That'll help for 5S. Uh, so, uh, but overall, the motor is pretty pretty solid, uh, pretty good trust. Uh, the efficiency is pretty in line with uh, what we expect for for this uh, high performance motor. So again, I think we have a, a solid uh, 2206 motor here. Uh, should be pretty good for all you guys that are really power hungry. Uh, so, anyways, that was the test for the uh, Brother Hobby T2 2206 2300 kV. Uh, hope uh, you find the information useful. And uh, the test for the T2 2206 2600 kV uh, will be ready in a few days. So keep an eye for that. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.